My, my, what a long way Korean cars have come. 20 years ago, the Korean auto industry was associated with cheap prices, old technology, and a singular lack of individuality. Today, the best Korean cars are attractive, sophisticated, and even desirable. The Kia Optima is a good case in point. We all know that big sedans have lost some of their shine, mainly because consumers either look for more affordable models or prefer the perceived status of smaller cars from premium brands. Why then would the Kia Optima have any chance of success? Let's start with the styling. In visual terms, this latest Optima is identical to the car launched by Kia in South Africa just more than a year ago. The very sleek, very Eurocentric design language created by Peter Schreier is very much in evidence here. And the car has a nicely clean and sculpted look. But most importantly for me, it's a completely original design. The Optima's silhouette places the emphasis on smooth, wind-cheating aerodynamics and manages to understate the sizable proportions of the car. The low roofline, narrow glass areas and wedged waistline add an unexpectedly sporty demeanor, while those big eye-catching wheels suggest a certain dynamic appeal. Part of the Optima's attraction is that it doesn't look as ungainly as its substantial proportions might suggest. At 4.85 meters long and 1.84 meters wide, this is a big sedan. But the low roofline and the flowing lines underplay the four doors bulk. Bottom line, it does turn heads. The cabin of the Optima feels big, even by D-segment standards. There's stretch-out space both front and rear, and at 505 litres, the boot is generous too. Needless to say, there's a very long list of standard features as well. That list covers everything from the two-tone cloth and leather upholstery and the multifunction steering wheel to keyless entry and a multi-speaker infinity sound system. Kia has worked hard to create a premium ambience, and it generally succeeds. The finishes and surfaces look and feel upmarket, and niceties such as a reverse camera and a panoramic glass sunroof are included when there would be high-cost extras in rival models. But for many, the Optima's overall roominess will be one of its biggest drawcards. Two more aspects close to the heart of South African motorists is performance and economy. The perception is that medium sedans like the Optima are likely to lack the sparkle of a compact premium sedan while guzzling more fuel. You'll find Kia's answer to that concern under the latest Optima's bonnet. The big news with this car is the GDI engine. It's still a four-cylinder and the capacity is still 2.4 liters, but it gets direct fuel injection for the first time and also variable valve timing for both the inlet and the outlet valves. The result is a 16 kilowatt hike in power, maximum power now 148 kilowatt, and a 19 newton meter increase in torque. Maximum torque now 250 newton meters. The new engine means the Kia is much more competitive in both dynamic and economy terms compared to its predecessor. The power plant is smooth and refined for a four-potter, and frankly, the output figures are impressive given that this is a normally aspirated unit without the benefit of turbo or supercharging. The downside, of course, is that the Optima will suffer power losses at altitude, typically as much as 18% in Johannesburg, for instance. But even so, the big Kia feels swift and composed as long as you keep the engine spinning. It certainly doesn't feel sluggish. Given the bulk of the Optima, the 1600 kilo curb weight is pretty impressive and it does help to make the most of the urge on offer. You're looking at a 0 to 100 time of 9.5 seconds, a top speed of 210 kilometers an hour. And because the gear ratios of the car are quite short, especially in the first three gears, and because the throttle response is razor sharp, this car always feels a lot quicker than it really is. The transmission is a six-speed automatic, and while it's fairly smooth and reasonably responsive, the driving experience becomes a lot more engaging once you use the shift paddles to swap gears. There's sufficient grunt to maintain decent cruising speeds and to allow safe overtaking, but the traction control often intervenes when it doesn't need to, especially on bumpy surfaces. Ride quality is good, if not quite as refined as the rest of the car's execution. Finding just the right compromise between comfort and tautness has eluded the Kia's engineers, and the result is a ride that feels smooth, but becomes slightly lumpy on poorer country road surfaces. 
All things considered, the Kia Optima is a fine car and it's made even better by the addition of that direct injection engine. It looks good, it feels posh and the pricing is pretty keen too, which means that it makes a compelling argument in favour of D-segment sedans. Whether status conscious South Africans will be swayed by the Optima's attributes, however, remains to be seen. A new livelier and more economical engine is at the core of the latest Optima, adding further appeal to a package already offering space, comfort and style. Strong value and decent dynamics are further plus points, but the engine needs to be exercised to give its best and the traction control can be overzealous at times.